Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and in today's episode we're going to look at the VBox layout pane in JavaFX. So I've already created a new project in Eclipse called VBox Explorer. And what you see on the screen is the start method from the main class. So we create a new vertical box layout pane. I create three buttons, buttons one, two, and three, and I add them to the VBox. We'll set VBox as the root of the scene, add the scene to the stage, and show the stage. So let's run that and you'll see what the default layout looks like. So we have a vertical box that contains three buttons, one, two, and three, and they're all shown with their preferred size. And because the parent container or the layout container for those three buttons is a vertical box, they're all stacked on top of one another. So that's what the vertical box is. It's a container that lays out its children from top to bottom. The vertical box layout pane lays out its children from top to bottom in the order that they were added to the container. One of the things that we can do is we can set the alignment for the children within the VBox layout pane. We do that by using the set alignment method on the object. And we have a number of different choices. We can set them basically at the baseline, the bottom, the center, or the top of the layout pane. So what I'm going to do is set the alignment for top center. Let's run the program again, and you'll see the result is that the alignment of all of the children within the VBox layout pane is now at the top and center of the layout pane. Again, let's change that just to show We'll set them now at the top right, and now we see that they're aligned at the top and right of the vertical box. We can also force the children to grow, uh, same as we did in the last episode with the H-box. And you'll see that just by setting the uh, max width to double dot max value, now the first button, button one, occupies the full horizontal space in the layout pane. Two and three still occupy space based on their preferred width. We can also choose to set whether or not buttons will grow vertically when the layout pane is resized. And we do that by calling a method on the class itself. So we're going to set the vertical grow priority. So first parameter would be the node itself. For example, button one. And the priority the same as we used in the HBox priority dot always, sometimes, or never. And they function in the same way, except in this case, it functions in the vertical direction as opposed to the HBox, which is in the horizontal direction. Let's run that. Again, we see no change because we haven't set the maximum height to allow the button to grow. We set the maximum width, but not the maximum height. We can set both the maximum width and height at the same time by calling the set max size method on the object. And we no longer require this one at that point, so I'll just delete that and let's run. See how that turns out. So you can see now that button one, having set the maximum width and height to double dot max value, the width and height now occupies all of the available remaining space. And if we do the same for the other two buttons in the layout pane, we'll see that one, the layout pane when the layout is resized, they will all occupy a third of the available space.
Again, don't forget to set the priority. There we are, all three occupy one third of the available space and they will grow in the both the vertical and horizontal directions. Not really much else that I wanted to say about the V-Box layout pane. We've uh, covered most of the similar things in the H-Box layout pane tutorial previous to this. And it, it's basically, this, as I said earlier, the same except in the opposite direction, one horizontal, one vertical. The horizontal box and the vertical box layout panes are two of the simplest of the layout panes in Java FX. As always, the code for this tutorial can be found on GitHub, and I'll leave a link in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the next video. Take care.